President Biden and his top health officials now throwing their full force behind a third COVID vaccine booster shot. The threat of the Delta re virus remains real, but we are prepared. We have the tools. We can do this. The booster blueprint is still pending official approval from agencies like the FDA and CDC. But all American adults would have access at once, assuming eight months have passed from their second dose. Dr. Anthony Fauci telling Lester the booster may not be needed on a regular basis. The level of antibody that has been elevated by that third shot is extraordinary. It goes up at least 10, sometimes 20 or more fold. Fauci says recipients of the single dose J&J &J vaccine will likely need a booster too once all of the research is back. President Biden is also mandating vaccinations at nursing homes. And bringing down the hammer on governors blocking mask mandates in schools, threatening legal action for states like Texas and Florida. We're not going to sit by as governors try to block and intimidate educators protecting our children. In Louisiana, a school board meeting on masks broken up by defiant attendees refusing to wear masks. <laughs> New Orleans dad Taylor Beery is filled with frustration. His nine-year-old son Walker was diagnosed with brain cancer two years ago and is currently being treated in Alabama. The family is afraid to return home, fearing COVID has overwhelmed New Orleans emergency services. We've seen specific examples of people who have empathy for our situation, um, who love our family, but they have not made that connection that a decision not to get vaccinated could cost Walker could cost so many people that they love who need this urgent care. Mm, 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 mm. That's where we ended yesterday, uh, too. We, we ended with a phone call from Aaron in uh, New Orleans, who was telling us that a friend of his uh, was a contractor, actually it was his landlord, was a contractor who was hired by the um, Charbonnet Funeral Home to build body shelves to store dead people a pawn in New Orleans. Uh, I, 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 okay, so the happy ending to that particular uh, news story is that the people in that particular New Orleans town where that dad is trying to protect his obviously under 12 year old son with brain cancer who's undergoing chemotherapy, etc., in order to help him live a long and happy, free life his neighbors decided that they would get vaccinated as a uh, way to help this little boy not get COVID. So there is a little silver lining in the gray cumulonimbus cloud of uh, crazy that has uh, embraced our country. I mean, you know, uh, on Tuesday, and, and not all states are reporting, by the way, this is the crazy part. On Tuesday, we climbed back over the 1,000 dead a day mark. That's more than, what, 42 people an hour dying? But, of course, conservatives like Greg Abbott and Ron Death Sentence call that freedom. Freedom. Now, we all know that 99.9% of all the deaths are happening among the unvaccinated. So demographically speaking, this uh, pandemic might actually raise the cumulative IQ of the United States of America. But that's not the way I really intended for our country to raise its IQ. I always thought maybe I could get people to read and that might do it. But oh no, oh hell no, that ain't happening. So I don't know how many deaths are too many deaths. I'm not sure. What I do know for sure is that Ron DeSantis doesn't think that too many are enough. There are protests going on all over Florida because Florida school districts have convened their school boards, they have opened it to the public, they have listened to these crazies. They have taken, uh, you know, all the, 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 the incoming that you could possibly imagine. And they have decided in various counties like mine, Palm Beach County, that they are going to send kids back to school with a mask mandate and no parental opt out. Miami is doing the same thing. Alachua County is doing the same thing. Tampa is doing the same thing. 
uh, they are not going to sacrifice their children at the altar of Donald Trump or Donald Trump's memory or the hopeful few that think that maybe Minnie can one day make it into the presidency or any of those things. They're just not willing to do it. So now what we have instead of a Mason Dixon line is sort of a moron douchebag line. I'm not kidding. If you look at a map of the United States of America right now, if you look at a color-coded map uh, of of which states are the lowest vaccinated states in the nation and where the hospitalizations and the death is the worst, it looks exactly like a map of the Civil War Confederacy. Coincidence? The South is seceding from life at least from reality, and they're dying in droves. That, that is what is so sad about seeing cities like New Orleans, cities like Miami, cities like Fort Lauderdale, like, uh, you know, Palm Beach County, <laughs> you know? I mean, just watching these cities fall to, to, to de- death and, and to sickness and, and to suffering is just, it's so preventable, it's so avoidable, it's so documentable, and it doesn't have to happen. It's just people have gone into like mass madness all at the same time. It's just like, I mean, it's, it's an actual confederacy of dunces. It's really happened. I, I just want you to look at, uh, he, th- this is some local TV. This is Channel 4 Local, okay, in Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> I know exactly what's going on, and we do not bow down to you. We only bow down to God, and our oath is to the United States Constitution. Get your sons in check right now! A verbal beatdown broke out at tonight's Charleston City Council meeting. Medical professionals invited to share their opinions on the benefit of a mask mandate. Council to ultimately vote on a mandate inside public and private schools. In the matter of minutes, civil discourse became a flurry of name calling where one doctor who spoke to the crowd told me they were spit on, oh my God. called a whore, a white piece of trash, huh. and a word we won't even say on TV, oh all in the presence God. of children, where the mayor was routinely interrupted, where respect for one another was tossed aside like a piece of trash. ABC News 4's Eli Brand joining us right now. He had a front row seat and has the fallout, and ultimately, Eli, what did council decide? Uh, Well, Dean, the room's empty right now, as you can see behind me, but I promise you, just a few hours ago, you saw the video, you saw the scenes. This place was wide open, and it was loud. What they were mainly complaining about was a potential mask mandate that the city of Charleston was going to talk about. It eventually got so bad that the mayor himself, John Tecklenburg, had to step in to try and calm the crowd about a mask mandate that eventually did not even pass. Oh, my God. Please, please cooperate with us. A meeting about a mandate that pushed the mayor to the brink. Hey, y'all, I'm I'm really serious about this. I'm going to ask y'all to refrain from outbursts for for these speakers. A question he had to ask over and over again. The problem is, order, everybody, one person at a time. Some moments so tense, Charleston's police chief himself stepped in to try and calm the crowd. Yes, ma'am, please proceed. Hello? Hey, y'all, come on. Most of the 90 minutes was anything but calm during the public comment section. It led to this from Councilman Harry Griffin. I've never been more ashamed. I've never been more ashamed than I am right now. I mean, come on. The the original Confederacy was based on, you know, racist slave owners perpetuating an inhuman system of forced labor. But they weren't crazy. They were just evil. But now you've gone crazy. Now you're the pro-life people are literally pro-death.